I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was put up for adoption at birth. My parents, Emery and Skip Scherer, pretty much were waiting on me, I assume, because I didn't stay there very long. I feel like that if I never, ever win anything else in my life, I won the lottery because I was adopted by the two greatest people in the world. My father passed away uh, in our front yard when I was 10 years old. And I was the one that had to go out and find him. And uh, so that was pretty, pretty tough. My mother raised us and continued to raise us. And of course, I was mama's boy. So uh, it was time to leave the house, uh, join the Navy, and uh, ended up coming out of the Navy because of my knee. And so came home and had some good friends and good times. And uh, every Labor Day, we would have a block party, get together for friends and, and neighbors and acquaintances and folks that we do. And, a guy showed up and uh, was hunting his ex-wife and pulled out a pistol and started shooting. And unfortunately, I was the one that got shot. So um, I don't talk a lot about that. Um, I told a friend the other day, it was, t it was like two books. My life is like two books, but I, I took that back. It's more like it was two chapters because for 26 years, I walked and Played basketball and did, you know, was, I won't say normal, but was a regular person. And then in an instant, it was like night and day. Everything changed. You know, you went from, you know, normally driving a car with your feet, running, walking to the mailbox, you know, whatever, to having to do everything with your arms and hands. The biggest thing is, is that. When you come home from rehab and you realize that you really are paralyzed, and even though the doctors have told you your spinal cord is cut in half, you're not gonna get any better. And you don't believe it. You're thinking, well, you know, this can't be true. You know, you're gonna get more back. Something's gonna change. Well, after two years, it doesn't. After three years, it doesn't. You know, so pretty soon there, you know, you start to realize, well, this is it. Because when you wake up, you have two choices. You can lay there and feel sorry for yourself and rot and watch TV or whatever and cry and whine, or you can get up and, lie, and, and live. I love to travel. I love people. I like to talk to people. I like to meet new people, especially nice ones. <laughs> I still drive. I still get to travel. Uh, I still get to go and do most things you know, go out to eat, socialize, those kind of things. QTS Traveler was, was started because I've always loved to travel. The whole idea behind it is, this is the way we can travel to all 49 states and Canada. And to not only reach out and make appearances, but to also be encouraging and show people that this can be done, especially people that have physical disabilities. And so now we've got the RV and my goals are threefold. Number one, there are a lot of people out there with physical disabilities that are sitting on the fence. And they're sitting there saying, well, I wanna do this, but I'm not sure I can. And they need just a little bump to get them off the fence. And I wanna be that bump. But if they can get out and enjoy life and it helps them, if it helps one person to enjoy life through activity, through seeing this great country of ours, to encourage that is the first goal. The second goal is to get the RV industry to adapt more universal design. Universal design is very simple. It is just design that does not necessarily hurt a non-disabled person, but it helps a person with a physical disability. And the third goal is to educate the general public that 
people with disabilities have the same likes, wants, needs as anybody else. And yes, they may be an amputee back from the war, they may be like myself in a wheelchair, they may be an older person with COPD, but it doesn't make them any less or any more of a person. Everybody wants to be happy. A lot of people want to travel and uh, hopefully that, that this whole grand adventure, you know, for the next four and a half, maybe even five years, will bring goodwill to the industry and to the general public as well as far as becoming accepting of a person with a disability. The things very simply that I'm looking forward to the most are having somebody come up and tell me, because of what you're doing, you have encouraged me to try it or something else myself that I've always wanted to do. That's the biggest gain that I could ever see happening is to be an inspiration to someone that may think, well, you know, I can't do that.